Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I'm Aja A. As you see a tarot cloth in front of me, you know it's time for me to kick some game to y'all for the month of March. These are your general readings for the month of March. Before I get started, if you feel like what I'm saying is not resonating with you, check out your moon and or rising sign, which I will have linked down below in the description box. While you were down there in that description box, go on and check out all them other links <laughs> that I have and watch them videos. Got a lot of stuff popping up for March. Um, although it was February, we did end February with the Virgo full moon, which we move into March with that energy. We'll have the Pisces new moon at some point during this month. I don't know what day because I'm not looking at the calendar. Um, what else? I got March love tarot readings for you guys as well. And whatever else is down there, go on and check it out. I truly appreciate y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe while you at it. Hit that little bell to keep up with when I put out new content, okay? This is going to be your typical four card spread for the month of March, looking at the overall energy for you this month, any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing. And because we are dealing with Pisces energy for most of March, going to be looking at where you need to just flow, what you need to let happen during this month. And as always, a quick little soul message. I will be reading with the Wild Unknown Archetypes uh, Oracle deck, True Heart Intuitive Tarot deck, and the Sigil Oracle deck. For those of y'all that really like the cards and are interested in them decks, you can find them online wherever. I ain't got the links down there because I'm not an Amazon affiliate, so they don't pay me to plug these decks. So <laughs> those are the names if you want them, okay? Um, all right, you guys, let's get into your spread. This video is for Sag, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising. Let's get right into your messages. You guys have the womb here. And so I've got I've got a few different messages for this card. I just want to get this one right out the way because this is not necessarily what I'm really reading to, but it did pop up when I pulled the card. Some of you Sagittarians may be may be dealing with some babies. Might have some some babies pop up in there. Um, but that is very, very general, and I don't want to spend a lot of time. I'm not gonna spend no more time on that than right there. So what I actually want to tell you guys with this message here is that during the month of March, you are supposed to be cultivating something. You're supposed to be birthing something or, or getting prepared to birth something. And when I say that, I don't necessarily mean a child, although some of y'all that does apply. Um, what I mean by that, you guys have the womb card. So you're in a space to where it is time for you to nurture some new little seedling of yours. And maybe it's not a new seedling. Maybe it's just something that you haven't put a lot of energy or effort into recently. And it's circling back around for you. With this card, I get the sense that you guys are, how do I want to put this? Okay, Sag, you just recently started your new rotation around the sun. I, not, well, not just recently, you know, you guys, are, you're about a quarter in now, a third or quarter in of the way now. But with that being said, you're still in the beginning. And I get this sense that you're still carrying some residual shit from your last rotation around the sun. And it is kind of thwarting you from what it is that you need to be cultivating right now the womb card when it pops up in a spread it comes with this message of there's something that you need to nurture there's something that you need to do there's something that you need yourself in in your best in your highest good in order to execute and so what i get for the month of march for you guys had is that this is supposed to be a month in which you are supposed to be kind of going within to look at what it is that you need to be working on, what it is that you need to be building upon, and the things that you need to put some love and some time and some effort into. I'm saying that to you guys, and I keep I keep getting pulled back to this. I, I feel like, Sag, there is just, you got something that is stopping you from doing that, and I get the sense that it is something that you could easily fix. I don't like to use the word fix, but it's something that you could easily either do away with or, or correct, so to speak, in order for you to be able to tap into this womb energy in the way that you need to. Let's talk about the numerology on this card very briefly. This card is 46. And I know some of y'all are like, girl, now, <laughs> how you figure that? Dude, I could read Roman numerals a little bit better than I used to. 
this is 46 y'all um four and six so those two energies separately point to manifestation and and laying solid foundations and also building upon solid foundations in a way that is is positive and that you can grow and progress in in ways that are beneficial those two numbers break down into 10 which is one amplified by zero and one is the number of new beginnings manifestation independence and, and change coming into new cycles and so what i get sag during this month is that there is something like i said some new little seedling something that you're supposed to be working on something that you're supposed to be putting initiative energy into and in order for that to come around to come full circle to even start popping off it has to be nurtured and i don't know why i keep i'm trying no i do know why this is how this happens when i do readings i'm trying to give you guys a message and i keep stopping which is giving me this notion that sad you know and you have an idea of what you're supposed to do because looking at it like me i know what i'm trying to tell you i know what i'm trying to say um but you keep abruptly stopping and i don't know if that's by your hand or by like external externals <laughs> oh gosh i don't think it's external i think it's by your hand sag and i'll get into that with the rest of your cards but me trying to tell y'all that and then having such a hard time getting that out does point to there are instances in which you are creating some sort of obstacle for yourself there you're putting up some sort of blockage to actually nurturing whatever this womb energy is supposed to be lent to it is not the way that the reading was about to go but apparently spirit said actually call them sagittarians out call them out and so i'm about to call y'all out um you're supposed to be doing something you're supposed to be building up on something you're supposed to be making some changes feeding something not feeding something putting your feeding your energy into something positive feeding your positive energy into something there are new chapters and new cycles that are supposed to be coming around for you and what i get sad especially with you guys having already made it a couple of months into your rotation around the sun is that you're running behind you're running late if that makes sense and so what's happening here is you might start to get a little frantic or you might actually be feeling like because you've been putting these changes or you've been putting whatever it is that needs to transpire off or you've been blocking yourself from getting that done during the month of march all of this is going to rise to the top and you're not going to have any choice other than to to deal with it to work with it and peep this we're finishing up the winter season mm, itching we're finishing up the winter season, which means we're going into the springtime, which is the, the time of fresh new beginnings, fresh starts. Everything is popping. Everything is new. Sagittarius, whatever is supposed to be going down for you, you don't get to experience that in the springtime if you don't do your work right now here in March, which means you got a couple of weeks left because spring starts in March. Okay. Next card that I have coming up for you guys in your spread is in the position of your crossing energies, your challenges or your obstacles that you might be facing during this month and you guys have the four of wands and so typically when this card is pulled in an upright position it's a card of harmony and laying you know solid foundations and positive foundations that you can grow and build upon being in a crossing position this card points to discord and so i feel like this discord might be spanning a couple of different areas of your life but i, I what i'm picking up on is that there is this this there's this feeling, Sag, of feeling restricted or feeling stuck or feeling like you're in a position that you just don't want to be in. And you almost, what I get is that you almost don't really know how to pull yourself out of it. But what I will say is that you should be able to figure that out because what I pick up on is that you put yourself in it. And I know that sounds very harsh, but y'all know I don't sugarcoat these readings. I don't play with these messages you're in a space to where your life is out of whack you're out of alignment with the things that are going on in your physical you're out of alignment with the things that you're supposed to be in alignment with and that is where all of this discord is coming from and so with the four card being crossed or with the four of wands being crossed that also points to you doing a whole bunch of stuff that you do not need to be doing and listen i ain't forget y'all's reading last month was you doing too much uh-huh i did not forget i listened because i had to fuss at y'all in y'all's last reading so let me let me carry that over into this one sagittarius this is a wands card do you know what the next card is it's the five of wands and do you know what the five of wands is doing entirely too much because your energy is all scattered all over the place try to stop yourself from getting there if you ain't already there try to reel yourself back 
Four of Wands crossing the womb says that you are putting your energy into a whole bunch of stuff and you might think that that's where your energy needs to go. You might think that you need to nurture this over here. You might think that you need to put some energy and some time and some effort into this over here. When the reality of it is, is that Sagittarius, you actually putting your energy into those spaces and into those places is causing you disharmony. It's causing you, you to be off kilter. Um, and I also, this is not a love reading, but this did just pop up. Sagittarius, for those of you that started dealing with some sort of significant other or some sort of partner during the past month that was a no-no and i also get that a lot of you backtracked and backslid into some situations that you had already removed yourselves from let me just tell you this straight up right here right now especially because i see this little anahata card here at the end which i will get into in a minute if if what i'm saying and what i just said resonated with you and what i am not just said you backslid and you were like whoop now, how you know that? Let me tell you something. When you move out of situations, whether it's a relationship or a job or a friendship or some sort of perspective, let's let's make it a little bit more general. When you remove yourself from situations and places and spaces that you're not supposed to be in, your energy ascends, you become you start to become in alignment with your highest good. When you backslide on some retrograde shit, because that's literally what that that's what I get from that. When you backslide and you put yourself back into those positions, guess what? That's when the shit starts to hit the fan. That's when things start to go all out of whack. And everything that you try to do, everything that you plan on doing, you keep getting stopped. Like how I was getting stopped trying to read your cards to you. So uh, Sagittarius, whatever you put yourself back into in this past month, you need to reel yourself right on back out of it because it does not serve you. Okay. Now going a little bit more into this Four of Wands card, I do talk about in a lot of my spreads, turning these cards into upright positions. The Four of Wands is a harmonious card. It's a card talking about, you know, coming to these spaces of success and stability and harmony and, and, you know, fulfilling these things that you have manifested. Turn this into an upright position. Try to operate with some more positive energy. Try to think as if you already have the things that you need. Speak as if they already exist and move yourself away from this is not working for me and move yourself away from doing the things that keep you in this four of wands cross position. Discord is not cute. <laughs> like and that's the best way that i could put it like that's not cute like just living a hectic life and having things all over the place and falling back into habits and patterns and people that you know you don't need to be involved with it's not cute it's not a good look sagittarius so hey get that shit together <laughs> sorry get it together the next card that I have coming up in your spread is in the position of where you just need to flow, where you need to tap into some Pisces energy because that's what we're dealing with for the month of March and let life's currents lead you. And you guys have, this is not always an aw shit card for me, but in this particular deck, in this uh, True Heart Intuitive Tarot deck, this one kind of reads as an aw shit card for me, but not in a bad way. This is where you need to let life flow. And so what I think the message is here with this card, Sag, is that you need to keep it real with yourself. Um on the shadow side and i know you guys know this about yourselves on the shadow side you guys are known for playing the victim and what i get from your spread is that a lot of you sages especially if you're still sitting here listening to this reading and look y'all like i said i do not sugarcoat i, I don't um, nah, because that's not going to help you for those of you that are still here listening to me talk and you listen to me lay it on you heavy for the last five however many minutes this card is telling me that Sagittarius, you you already know what I'm about to say next. Mm -hmm. You don't put yourself into the positions in the in the places that you're in, especially those negative ones. If you look at the imagery on this card, this person is blindfolded. They're just moving aimlessly throughout life, but they're still sticking to these swords. They're like, no, nah, I'm doing all of this, but you're blindfolded, you're bounded, and you're and it's like, well, why would you still be trying to do all of this? When you need to untangle yourself, when you need to unravel yourself, okay? So my message to you with this Eight of Swords card is that you need to, one, get real with yourself during this month of March and look at where the things in your life are not up to par for you. Look at what you don't like. Look at what situations you feel like drain your energy or what situations you just feel off every time you step into them. Look at your dwelling space and look at how the things around you look. Look at your friendships and think about, you know, how are these things going? And then as you look at them, think about your contributions. 
because the thing about healing and the thing about progressing a part of that is acknowledging your faults and your fears and the things that you you maybe could have done differently and this is not to say to sit there and dwell on shoulda coulda wouldas but definitely spend a little bit of time visiting it so you have the knowledge of what not to do next i also get there is a big sagittarius i and y'all know i don't I don't like to be all up in y'all's business like that, that, but I am getting a message here um, for some of you Sages, and this is very, no judgment being passed here. We, we're in a really weird time. We're still in a whole, still in a whole pandemic, panoramic, panty, okay? Um, I get the sense that some of you Sagittarians are, you have some detrimental to self habits, and that can go as far as your vices. With that being said, Sag, if you need some help, reach out for some help. If you watch my videos and you ain't never scrolled through the description box, go on and scroll through my description box because I have, there's at least one website down there with some resources to, to dealing with depression. I mean, I get that some of you guys may be dealing with that right now. You may not even know that that's, what, that's what's hitting you. Um, and you might be coping with it in, in unhealthy ways. That did come up, um, like I said, no judgment passed here, but I will say if what I just said speaks to you, please reach out and get some help and please take it upon yourself to try and get yourself as healthy as possible mentally and physically, okay? Um, I don't judge people for their vices, but everything in moderation, okay? And if you feel like you have surpassed that, it is, it is time to start working on that and working through that. And understand that this card points to self-sabotage and so where you need to let life flow during this month is to be able to recognize how you're sabotaging yourself how you're sabotaging your progression and then because this is a swords card and we're talking about air and we're talking about mental and perspective and, and, and you know intellect here once you figure these things out once you can acknowledge and pinpoint these things Take some time to start thinking of and formulating a plan on how you're going to move yourself away from those dense energies, from the anchors that are these swords that you have decided to attach yourself to. That's the thing. These swords are anchors, but you don't have to be anchored with them. You do not have to be. And I understand the times probably got you feeling like you do, but the reality of it is that you don't. So keep it real with yourself. Look at where you're falling short. Look at where you're creating chaos in your own life and look at how you're sabotaging the self and then start working through some some uh, some practices or some some spiritual rituals or, you know, go to a counselor or a therapist. Start doing whatever you need to do to help yourself, because Sag, once you start helping yourself, you'll be in a position to turn this four of wands into the upright, harmonious energy and then to start nurturing whatever this womb energy is supposed to be led to. Last card that I have in the spread for you, Sagittarius, is in your soul message position. And you've got Anahata, which is the uh, heart chakra. Um, and this sigil oracle corresponds with uh, major arcana cards as well. And so this is the lovers. And like I said earlier, I wasn't getting no lovers. I ain't getting lovers energy here, like, like, like a partner energy. I am more so this heart chakra card I'm getting more so self-love vibes with it and this is this is in your soul message so this is something additional for you to take away with you from the spread and so I, I believe the message here is that sag you have got to remember to love yourself you got to remember to love on yourself during this time during the month of march don't be so hard on yourself and then don't be so avoidant of the things that are weighing heavy on you to where you become numb and start doing shit that doesn't make sense and start doing things that are not healthy for you this is a month in which you need to really take some time and like I said, really look at the things that are detrimental to what you've got going on, excuse me, and put some effort into how can I shift this within my life to where I'm not feeling this heaviness, to where I'm not dealing with no extra nonsense here, and to where I'm not in this position of discord anymore, because there are things that you're supposed to be doing, Sag. You guys are Sagittarians. You're the archers. Y'all be shooting y'all's arrows and then going to retrieve them and just going on adventures and living your best lives. And what the energy that I get during this month is that you haven't really been able to do that because things have been weighing you down. But these things that have been weighing you down, you've lent a hand to. 
But with that being said, because you've lent a hand to them, that also means that you have every capability to lift them up so that you don't feel weighed down anymore. Self-love is important during this month. And I also want to go so far as to say, Sagittarius, you need to be as selfish as you need to during this month to get yourself back into alignment with your highest good because that's not where it's at right now. So do some heart chakra work during this month um, in regards to self-love and also getting grounded within in a, in a way that is beneficial to you so you can work with some you know some green or some pink stones uh, you know everybody loves rose quartz for the heart chakra but i am one of them people i don't like the stones that are like super popular so i am not somebody that would ever suggest rose quartz or amethyst <laughs> to y'all for any reason <laughs> but i will suggest some green stones and i will suggest some other some other pink stones like rhodochrosite um pink Mangano, man, I don't know how to say the word calcite, the, the M A N G A N O, pink, M A N G A N O, calcite. <laughs> um, Rhodochrosite, rhodonite is also a good, is also a good uh, heart chakra stone. You could work with some moss agate, some dendritic agate, um, some other green, some green calcite, green kyanite. If you want to do some intense, some very quick intense heart chakra work, wear some, you know, wear some pendants. Um, do some heart chakra meditations, do things that make you feel good, do things that you're passionate about. And I will throw in a shameless plug. If you want some heart chakra jewelry, Sunshine Haze Co. has it for you. I sell, and this is actually a fluorite bracelet. This is a third eye bracelet, but I have chakra bracelets. I have chakra waist beads. Um, I do custom chakra pendants and my pendants will be taken out of inventory after I sell out of the quantity that I've allotted this time. So just keep that in mind. If you if you're thinking about it, you come holla at me before they're gone um, and just do things that put your heart into a happy space, into a happy place, because that's going to be important for you for the month of March. And we want you I want you to look in spirit and your guys said, hey, we want you to get it together. And those are your messages for the month of March. I hope that they found you well. If you feel like you want your own personal reading, you can feel free to book one with me. I have my Etsy shop linked down below. I offer several different types of tarot spreads. I'm pretty sure I have something that you're looking for. If you don't see a spread on my Etsy shop that works for you, shoot me an email and we can work it out, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, like I said, I hope these messages find you well and help you maneuver through the month as you need to. Um, I appreciate y'all and I will catch y'all next time. Happy spring. Peace.